Thanks for joining us for On Call for All Kids. Today we're going to be talking about antibiotics. We'll be discussing why Antibiotic Awareness Week is important, when we should take antibiotics, and the potential consequences of overusing antibiotics. I am joined by Dr. David Berman. He is a pediatric infectious disease specialist here at Johns Hopkins All Children's, and Katie Namtu, a pediatric infectious disease clinical pharmacist mm -hmm. here as well. So it is Antibiotic Awareness yeah. Week. And why is this week so important, Dr. Namtu? So the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, wants to improve awareness to the public in terms of how do we use antibiotics appropriately and safely, and also to uh, gain attention in terms of the threat of antibiotics resistance as well. When should we be taking antibiotics? So antibiotics are, are life-saving medications and um, should be used for infections caused by bacteria such as urinary tract infections, um, strep throat is another indication for utilizing antibiotics as well, and pneumonia caused by bacteria. So it's all bacterial related. So Dr. Berman, when should we not be using antibiotics? Uh, there are many circumstances when we should not be using antibiotics. I would say it's probably most of the time when um, you bring your child to the doctor. The physician is going to make that determination whether or not you need to be on antibiotics. So you should never go into the doctor's office and say, hey, I want an antibiotic. You let them make the determinations. Because most of the time, these infections are caused by viruses. There are a lot of kids that are in daycare, and they're frequently getting sick all the time repetitively. So in a season, a child's going to have around six to eight upper respiratory tract infections. So that means you're going to have a sick kid probably once or twice a month. And so, and expect that illness to last seven to 14 days for the most part. So, and, and I, just to say, if your child's getting better after about seven days, they're probably not going to need an antibiotic. Okay. That's good to know. But what happens though, if they are being overused and they're being prescribed when they shouldn't be. Yeah, this is a big consequence that we deal with in the hospital and even more so, as Katie could tell you, in the community. So broad spectrum antibiotics are being used, so things other than penicillin. And what ends up happening is we develop what's called antibiotic resistance. And what resistance means is that the antibiotic no longer works to fight a bacterial infection that Katie was talking about at the very beginning. So you could have a pneumonia that you can't treat with the normal antibiotics who end up going on to a broader, more expensive antibiotic, which can have some bad side effects as well, too. Let's talk about those side effects, though. What mm -hmm. other side effects could you experience from antibiotics, maybe even a trip to the emergency room? Yeah, so so that's certainly a frequent visit for our children to our emergency room. Uh, emergency rooms across the country, actually, is um, side effects from commonly used antibiotics, even amoxicillin that's commonly used for ear infections. And um, so, uh, so there's common, less severe side effects like diarrhea or the child complains of an upset stomach. Um, and then there's also more severe uh, consequences of using antibiotics. It can do damage to our other organs, such as liver and also our kidney as well. Um, the other problem is that antibiotics can also interact with other drugs that a patient may be on. And that's just not prescription drugs. That's also drugs that your child may be receiving that are over the counter or herbal medications. So it's very important to ask questions, either your pharmacist or your doctor, to ask, hey, will this antibiotic, is it is it okay to take with these X, Y, and Z drugs that I'm taking currently, just to ensure it's a safe combination to utilize? Yeah, so really be an advocate for yourself. Yeah, certainly. And Dr. Sure. Berman, I kind of want to wrap up now on allergies to antibiotics. We know that that can be a possibility, but in particular penicillin. Will you touch on that for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is one of the biggest problems we deal with, particularly kids getting admitted to the hospital. They're labeled as a penicillin allergy. So many viruses can actually cause rashes as well, too, and other reasons for rashes. And it just happens to be sometimes they're taking amoxicillin or penicillin when they develop a rash. It may not be related to the drug, so they're labeled as penicillin allergic. So what does that mean? That means that when you do get sick, you get put on a broader spectrum antibiotic, a more expensive antibiotic, and an antibiotic that might cause more side effects. So what we're trying to do at the hospital is to label patients saying, was this really an allergic reaction and can we give them penicillin? Because 90% of the people that think they're allergic to penicillin are not allergic to penicillin. Uh, and it makes a big difference as far as treatment. Dr. Berman, Dr. Namtu, thank you so much thank for you. giving yeah. us some extra knowledge about antibiotics, really important stuff, especially during U.S. Antibiotic Awareness Week. If you have any topics you would like us to cover or look into, you can just comment below right here on this video. And don't forget to check out our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. And we have a lot of different patient stories and other pediatric healthcare information there as well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.